So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied yeah, to no us. Shit. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again, and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after him until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a I derelict say, Reaper. listen to me, asshole. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. That's what I just said, damn the it. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. I just decided. All right, Thane, you got something to say? Shepard, I mentioned when we met on Ilion that I was dying. It's called Keprel's Syndrome. It's not communicable, but I have less than a year to live. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I... attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. If we're talking about this, he must have contacted you. No, he didn't. But my condition... I've been judging my life, measuring what I've added and what I've taken away. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. Well, what's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Meditating or maybe something else? I mean, you heard him. He has less than a year to live. Might as well get in as many J.O. sessions as you possibly can. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. If you don't recognize her, this is the, the sorry lady from Pharos back in the first game. She has something to say. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. 
Well, I just explained who you are, so I guess I remember you pretty well. And you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. Well then, let's go talk to her, shall we? I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? Phew, where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't... There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. And that takes care of that. I'm gonna go shopping really quick. All right. Now let's talk to Green Lady again. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? Nope. You've got the new contract. It's fixed for now. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not... 
doing whatever you do. I already got someone. Sorry. I mean, we're not official yet, but I think we're pretty much close enough to being official that we can be official. Right? 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 Right. Cool. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customer.